Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Generation Selects Deluxe Class Magnificus. See? Magnificus. Now you may notice that on the box it says Transformers Legacy Evolution. I don't know which subline this is in. Is it Legacy Evolution or Selects? Well, I'm gonna say both. The first Magnificus toy showed up in 2005 as an e-hobby exclusive, and it was Magnificus and Gamede who pretty much was just Mag the Black Perceptor with a different head sculpt and a Microman figure. The next time the character showed up was in 2013 as a Generations Japanese exclusive of the Perceptor mold. Again, Perceptor in black, silver, and red using the Tooling's pre-existing alternate head. One word about the gun that the figure comes with, it is hidden up here in the fold, so you do have to open it up and then the fold or hinge of the container, the gun is stored there. It's the same as Perceptor's gun, just in black. The figure's black and gray aesthetic are really nice. I like this a lot. Yeah, black and red figures are kind of Nemesis Prime's motif, but it works well here. Like It really works quite well. I also absolutely love this head sculpt. Yes, it is Perceptor's head, with a different face. It, it just works for me. And yeah, it's kind of a generic con face, but those yellow eyes on that silver faceplate kind of has a, uh, a grunt vibe to it. Very much like run amuck and runabout. The only coloring that the two share are the feet, the crotch, the white paint around the chest, and the white paint for the eyepiece and the knob on the microscope otherwise the figures oh and the the knobs on the wrists otherwise the figures are very diametrically opposed when it comes to color and both figures feel fantastic in the hand i don't know why it is but perceptor is probably one of the best feeling figures we've gotten this year Posability for Magnificus is just as good as Perceptor's, but the head can't really look up and down. It just kind of swivels side to side, even though there is a ball joint connection. The main lens can fold back and then flip down and to store. Shoulders are on swivel. Shoulders are on ball joints for around and in and out. Upper arm swivel, bend at the elbow, no fist articulation. Torso swivel is present. Legs can kick forward and can kick back at 90 degrees, actually a little more than 90 degrees, and can kick out at over 90 degrees. There is a thigh swivel, bend at the knee is well over 90 degrees, and then the ankle rocker, which uh, is a little bit tough to move on my figure, is plenty. Oh, and there's toe articulation, just a very tiny bit for the transformation. There is also this transformation point on the legs that, well... <laughs> doesn't hold well on on Perceptor, so I'm not expecting it to hold well here. There's not a lot of friction there. This mold also has a convenient peg hole in the keister for flight stand cap capability. Through the course of this review, I have noticed one flaw with the figure, and it's not the most critical thing in the world. The shoulders, specifically the right shoulder, does not like to stay pegged in. There's very little force that's required to unpeg it. And the other flaw that I've already mentioned are the looseness in the hinges here in the legs. The leg issue, I think I can fix. I think that's something that I'm able to fix. I have no idea how to go about fixing the shoulder. One other word of warning, the ball joints in the shoulders are incredibly tight. Like, I'm shocked at how tight they are. I don't think I've had a figure this year that has ball joints this tight, so just be wary. Transformation is easy and fun. Turn the head around and fold it up into the cavity in the back. Point the arms at the sky and then fold the fists into the forearms, like so. Grab the arms and pull them down into the abdomen, then come up to the shoulders. And first, lean the eyeglass over to the side and then push the shoulder up. And then do the same thing on the other side, push the shoulder up and it'll peg into the microscope area. Then collapse the arms into the rest of the body and they will just peg into place nicely. Then come to the legs, have the figure sit down, split the legs like you're going to do the splits, 
and then use that hinge on the upper thigh to put the light feet in, fold the toes down, and then flip down the magnification platform and point the microscope head down and you're done. This microscope form is great and I actually like this more than the original Perceptor figure because most microscopes I've ever used are either black or white, not red and blue. And it works, and I love the giant Decepticon symbol there on the spyglass. Or whatever this part is of the microscope, I, I never know what that's called. And here are the two microscope boys next to each other. Again, I, I kind of like Magnificus better. And lastly, there is one more form we need to transform the figure into. Leave the figure as is, take the support legs, flip them around 180 degrees, then fold the entire body back, and there are pegs on the outside of the arms that will peg into the legs that it's not the easiest to peg into. It just does require a little bit of force. And then we have the tank mode. And it's a fun little tank mode. You can leave it like this, or you can fold up the glass. Either way, it's fine. It works well. I like, I, I just like this mold a lot. And here we have tank mode. And here we have two tank modes. And they both work really well. Magnificus takes the already excellent Perceptor mold and just adds a little bit of class to it. The black paint or the black plastic that this figure is molded in works incredibly well. It is slightly shiny, just ever so slightly. It's not 100% matte, but that's okay. I really like the way this thing looks, and that head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. I, this is kind of the sleeper hit of 2022, this mold specifically. I'm not sure what else I could say. This guy is great and definitely belongs in your collection. I'm glad to finally have a Magnificus figure. I would love to have the original Generation 1 e-hobby exclusive, but I'll settle for this. I think this one is just great. Man, I'm so glad I picked this up. I really am. As I said, Perceptor is one of my favorite figures from this year. But this one, oh, just the look of it, just the coloring, just the play feel, and oh, it's it's just made me so happy. I really, really enjoy this thing. Yeah, it's slightly flawed. It's got a couple of very minor little nitpicks here and there, and the QC issue in the in the joints and the legs, that was present in this guy, so I can't really knock it. Seriously, if you could pick this one up, I strongly recommend it. So folks, let me know what you think of Magnificent down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, as always, I have been Ball Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.